Hi everyone, in this video, we will start our studio interface. Why I have not given our studio interface in my last video? Because I want my viewers, everybody should download and hands on practice, you can do it along with me. So there is first time when you have to open this R studio interface, you can see here there are three panes are visible. Here is in this pane, this one is the console right and you can see here is the terminal also right this is the terminal and this one is the console there is the environment and here is you can see all the outputs would be visible here and uh, in this uh, part you can see in this pane you can see by uh, this one is the files plots packages i will come to each and every part first let me start from this place uh, in this console, uh, you can see here our version 4.0.4 2021. I have downloaded this lost library book because I have not updated and uh, copyright here is the 2021, the R Foundation for Statistical Computing platform 8664, right? This is the for the 64 bit. And uh, you can see here is R is free software and comes with absolutely no warranty. You are welcome to redistribute it under certain conditions type license or license. Uh, I mean, these are the brackets for distribution details. So natural language support, but running in an English local. R is a collaborative project with many contributors type contributors for more information and citation on how to cite R or R package in publications. That's the most important. First of all, I would like to show you because citation very, very important when we are doing citation. I mean, we when we are using something that is our moral responsibility, we should cite this package and uh, from where I mean citation should be there when moment I will click here right citation I had written now you can see here to cite R in publication use you can see here this part so I think whosoever is using this this is our moral responsibility and research ethics when you are using this cite R I mean using this R studio you must given this reference in your as, as the citation in your uh, publication in your research paper and this one is the if we talk about the VIPTEX entry for latex user we could not call it a latex I mean correct pronunciation is not latex it is latex right x is always silent latex user is right so this one is the uh, complete uh, this one is the complete commands are here so you can see here uh, before that before moving ahead and uh, type demo for some demo help because I, I personally like this R software this R studio because this is the package where each and everything I mean large number of big files also you can run over even 10,000 data if you have sample size you can run here and all the packages beautiful packages are available here and definitely i am going to give you a one single video on biblio shiny right and bibliometric analysis in our studio that is shiny that is the shiny packages here and definitely i would record a one video how you have to go for quantitative analysis through biblio shiny through bibliometric analysis in a in a, in a next video or after first we have to introduce first and you can see here type demo for some demo help and as well as online help help start for html browser interface to help type q right immediately after that you will quit r if i would press this right and you can see here on the top of this these are the files new file new projects right new files you can you you can open up any files here c++ file css file new project right any new project right wherever is the uh, directories are will be over here open file in new column recent files open projects open project new session import database rest i mean in this video itself i will do it how you have to import database and i will show you one file how you have to open and uh, publish close quit session right then the edit 
this one is the this, uh, on this tab you can see undo redo cut copy paste paste and intent folding each and everything clear console control l i will show you how you have to use this control l moment you will press control l everything that would be finished right this 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 console would be clear it's just a very user friendly software that is why i like it personally i mean uh, top of this i prefer always to work in this uh, our studio and write uh, uh, run all the regression all the all this regression statistical analysis in this r studio so view here, here is height toolbar panes actual size zoom in right zoom out when you have to press zoom in control uh, plus plus this screen would be bigger when you have to press the zoom out control minus plus minus then it would be uh, it would be small screen then we have to move focus to source control plus i think shortcuts uh, because this is a gradual process one day you could not remember all the shortcuts what you have to do uh, you will start using this package this 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 uh, our studio so gradually you would learn how you, where we have to use control plus zero where we have to use control one where we have to use control two right control three uh, control key and three and uh, show history control four show files show plots control six moment you will press control six then all the plots will be you it will be visible show packages right these are the shortcuts that is why i'm saying that is very user friendly software when we come to the plots right plots we will discuss later on when we have to run data then it would be active then the session right new session terminate r restart r set working directory yes of course choose directory there is the option otherwise by default uh, in the document section in your laptop document or the computer system doc document section there is the one folder is created already r folder and here is the automatically everything would be save over there if you suppose you want to save at the some uh, different directory so you can choose where you would like to just like this is my documents you can see here and this is the r right here is the win library and here is automatically everything would be saved Up suppose you don't want to save so you can browse here and you can save in the download section or the on the desktop wherever you would like to or windows c i mean on the on the another drive you can save so that is up to you then we come to the okay fine set working directory load workspace fine clear workspace quit session fine build when we come to the build configure build tools debug right and uh, execute next line step into function finish function we will use each and everything gradually and when we come to the profile start profiling open profile tools yes install packages i will show you how you have to install packages and uh, once this this introductory part this interface introduction is will be over so i'm sure that would be very handy and one by one i will show you everything is written in this in this in this package itself and uh, various kinds of package are available Al almost more than 10000 packages are available shell terminal jobs add-ins keyboard shortcuts right and there's a number of kinds of shortcuts are available this is the beauty of this r uh, studio so control shift how you have to move i think you must remember gradually uh, how you we have to reformat code lines extract functions insert chunk find previous find next right and show environment show vcs and here's the show connections shrink selection and uh, current cursor move lines up each and everything that is written i think once you have to debug other f1 f1 function key f2 each and then files how you have to save control as control alt plus as save all control shift and then new r script that would be open right and uh, this one is the menu so that is the very beautiful software is personally that is why i like this software then we come to the um install packages right and uh, this one is the keyboard and modify keyboard shortcut show commands and all and uh, this one is the 
this one is the search our help and if some, something you would like to help from us so you have to click here and you have to you can see here everything when moment you will press help here right our help you will reach here and now you can see here i will click here and now this one is the and you can you know as per your convenience you can increase and decrease this size also and uh, now this one is the files plots packages help viewer right so when you have to press help you can see here this one is the complete description is here and introduction to our manual suppose everything is here there is no need to you have to take any book and all everything is written here and introduction to our the moment you have to click here you can see here the our environment introduction right each and everything Thing is written here so um, this thing i'm sure introduction of our this is an introduction to our gnu as a language and environment for statistical computing and graphics r is similar to award winning as system because i did previously it was the and you can see here which was developed at bell laboratories by john chambers at all so this one is the for the um, gui and cui interface and uh, everything is written there wherever you are feeling because i would like to update myself i would like to open any book i would like to update this command each and everything is written there so um, logical vectors missing values vector in assignments vector arithmetic here is the index vectors changing the length of the object how you have to arrays arrays indexing each and everything and here is the you can see here matrix this one is the matrix multiplication linear equation eigen values eigen vectors each and everything is when moment you will prick press here so this is the complete introduction is here and as well as all the commands is also there so you can go there and with the help of this you would learn r and small small commands please use it i will show you how you have to do mathematical analysis in this um, r studio and uh, when you have to go back i will show you and here's the, the search thing whatever you want to search you can write here then we come to the um, our data here is the all the packages right when you have to click on the packages you can see here all the number of the packages are here uh, let's say if i will talk about let's say um, i will show you a moment you will press packages so you will reach here you can see here you will reach here um this one is the um, correct okay right so um here is if you will press this one is the gg plot right and uh, you can see gg plot 2 i will click here now the complete description would be here now you can see description file now you press here this one is the gg plot and what is this create add, create elegant data visualization using the grammar of graphics a system for you can see here creating graphics based on the grammar of the graphics you provide the data tell gg plot 2 and this one is the all the commands here and you know uh because you feel i mean somewhere i mean this should also be available in this uh, so in this in this our studio so people are continuously updating this day by day number of the thousand of people are working on it and day by day they are writing this one is the commands and uh, they are they they are updating it and uh, that is that is why it is very user friendly and uh, you can see here this one is the gg plot and uh, you can see user guide packages each and everything extending gg plot using gg plot two packages right when we come to the statistical packages you can see here again you have to press packages and now you can see when we have to reach to like let's say we talk about the heaven import and export as space and start an ss file this is the heaven through which with the help of this you can import 
files from SPSS, Stata, and SAS. And uh, when we come to the this place, statistical, when we talk about the statistics plot, right, you can see here, and uh, statistical packages when we have to reach to the S. And now you can see here, yes, this one is the um, shiny is also, I was talking about the shiny, right? That is also one of the beautiful package is available over here. And uh, right, now I have to show you how you have to, you have to just go through it and whatever the introduction you want, just click on this. And uh, this one is the complete description file will open. And now you can read this description when we come to the this part right when we come to the and what else what i had left about r right r if suppose i'm talking about r to so r is it would be like this right here is again file added view miscellaneous packages each and everything and this is the console so it would be like this r and uh, what else uh, fine now we will come over here right up now i would like to open our data import our data set right so when you moment you will click on this from text space from text right here is the from excel from spss from sas from stata I'm like suppose i would like to open a file from excel so you can see here this is the browser where is this file is put it in your system so i would like to open my file and this file is at my desktop and you can see here mm, i would like to open this and there is the one our uh, studio and there is the uh, this file i would like to open this is my excel file r file so i would like to open this file and now you can see this is the code preview basically otherwise you can write this code I mean, this is the this is the code preview. It is reflecting here. Either you have to directly import or you have to write this code. And now this is the you can see maximum row, right? First row as name that would be here. You can see first row E1, E2, E3. These are my um, variables. E1, E2, E3, G1, G2, G3, right? All these my variables. Open data viewer, right? And here is suppose you want to give range. This file is A1 to D10 in my Excel sheet. But if you suppose you don't want to open all the columns, you require only A1 to C1 or A1 to C3. So only this file you can mention over here. And this is the default because complete file will open. Now I have to press import. Right. Moment I have pressed import, you can see here this complete file is here. Right. You can see here. Up now description, you can see here this, this is the my file. This is my file here right here's the gender age income i mean each and everything is available over here and uh, you can see here this is my r file right you can see here r file and how many observations 371 observations in this file of how many variables 23 variables and you can see i was talking about uh, that was the command when we had pressed here let's say from excel so the same thing that is applicable same thing you can see that is reflecting over here right so let me cancel this and you can see library right all the all the commands are written here right if suppose now so you you understand how we have to import file right this is the excel file same way you can open spss file also and uh, description would be available over here and same file i'm going to use in future videos right and uh, i would uh, uh, plot some 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 charts and as well as some graphs as well as I have to run some statistical analysis on the same file. So I would, when moment, I will press control L, right? You can see here, control L. You can see here, this is the, this console is clear. I had pressed control L, now console is clear. Now again, I have to write so many, I mean, commands I have to write. And uh, definitely, uh, please try whatever I had covered today. And R is a very simple, very user-friendly, again, I would say, 
and definitely in the next video we will go ahead and uh, we will do some statistical analysis and uh, for the each package i have to record a separate video that would be helpful to you so i'm sure this video will be helpful to you and uh, thanks keep watching thank you so much keep watching